allergens! Hey everybody, welcome to Allergy Spice. But tastes good! Uh, gluten free, dairy free, egg free, uh, gluten dairy egg. Nut free! Nut free! <laughs> I knew there was another one. So we are running the whole thing today, and it is a sesame seed cookie. And awesome! They're really nice, and if you've got those allergies, are they covered with chocolate? This is for you. Shh, don't tell them the secret. So then we'll <laughs> we'll start this and we'll show you what we got. Awesome. Okay, so let's start off with one tablespoon flaxseed meal. And we're going to put three tablespoons of water into the bowl. Two and a half. <laughs> three. <laughs> yeah, I saw that too. Okay. Everyone saw that. <laughs> I'm gonna stir it a little bit and we're just gonna set it aside. In our food processor, we're gonna put two cups of sunflower seeds. Should make this a happy uh, snack. It's sunny! And we're gonna use one eighth of a cup of lupin flour. That's a plant, isn't it? Yeah, but if you have an allergy to peanuts, it's a legume. So oh. you could have an allergy to this. So we're just going to turn it on and we're going to make flour out of these two together on high. Okay, we're just going to take a look at what we got here. It's still a little bit uh, chunky. But it's fine, eh? No, it's not fine. It needs to go some more. It's not fine at all? No, not, not, not enough. You don't want it like just barely crunched down. But you don't want peanut butter either. I guess you're not going to get peanut butter. <laughs> you know, you know oh. what the klutziest fl plant is? Klutziest? Yeah. What? The tumbleweed. Ah, uh, you're so funny. Okay, there we go. It looks a little bit better. And that's going to be about good enough because it's going to mix more up. Like it's going to beat more while you're adding everything else. So it's kind of a coarse flour. We've got tahini butter we're going to oh. be using as well. So mind you, I bet you I know where that came from. What? I know where that country is from. Where? Tahini. Tahini. Of course. But if the lupin is a legume, yeah, you could use peanut butter. Okay. Because it's yeah. already got a legume in it, right? Yeah. So I never even thought of that. So you could probably do that. Awesome. Okay. So did peanut I, butter cookie then. Did I say a quarter of a cup tahini? A quarter of a cup coconut oil. Ten pitted dates in there. Half a teaspoon Redmond sea salt. Half a teaspoon exanthan, exanthan gum. One teaspoon vanilla extract. One teaspoon cinnamon powder. And then we're going to put our flax seed and water in. Okay, we're just going to scrape it down. Show you what it looks like. It almost looks like one of those fridge cookies. Yeah, from many years ago. Yeah. <laughs> So I guess in a way it's sugar-free too. Yeah? Because we use dates. This one's free of a lot of stuff. Yep. And yet the one person that needs it the most is going to be allergic to something that's in it. <laughs> hmm? It always works. Okay, looks good. So that's about done. So, we're going to use a cookie scoop, scoop them, roll them. They are a bit greasy, but don't worry about that. That's not a problem. And put them on a parchment paper th pan with our oven on 350. Okay, so then just take your hand and squish them down a bit. Make them a bit flatter. Yeah. And then we'll stick them in the oven. Compress them. Compress them. <laughs> 
Okay, so they've been in for 14 minutes, seven minutes, then I turn the pan, do another seven minutes, and you wanna be able, see there's a light tan on them. It's a light. A light. Toasting? Burnt. It's not, oh, it doesn't even close to burnt. Now move them over to a cooling rack. Burnt. <laughs> A light burn. And then we're gonna totally, totally cool them. And we will be back. I like what I'm looking at. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Somebody okay. have a spoon? <laughs> I, have, <laughs> I have two cups of white chocolate and two cups of milk chocolate. We're using Enjoy Life chocolate. But it is dairy free milk. Yes it is. Okay, so I've got a video if you're not sure how to melt chocolate. It's, I'll put it up in the link as a link. We're gonna wipe the bottom off and we're gonna pour a little bit into here. Now the heat is shut off but the water is still hot. Okay. So it'll keep it melted as long as we use it. You don't need four whole cups to do this but I want to make some bark after. I like so your, what you're thinking. <laughs> I'm sure you do. So these are our cookies, they're done. They're kind of plain. And that's why I wanted to add the chocolate to them. So you can either just place it on top. Shake off the rest. You won't get it on the back that way. Okay. So you Don't can you just, want it on the back? Well, I mean, you can, depends if you want to be cheap with the chocolate, right? Don't be cheap. Okay. Or do. <laughs> or just dunk it in. Okay. And then put it on your pan. Yes. <laughs> we'll just wipe a little bit off. Really? You didn't say anything? <laughs> oh no, because if it's in the bowl, I get it. Ah, uh, you wish. So we're gonna do this again. Okay, now they're done. We're gonna stick them either in the fridge or the freezer until they're dry and then we'll take them out. Um, the chocolate, I only poured about half or so of the milk into the white yeah. because otherwise the chocolate swallows up the white. Yeah. So this way I kind of wanted a little bit of marble on there, but with the rest... So you don't have to melt that much milk chocolate? No, you don't have to. Oh. But I mean, I'm doing it because I want to make um, the rest into a bark. My That's favorite kind it. of tree. <laughs> My favorite part of the part tree. Part of the tree. Uh, we're doing this just so that I have leftovers. You can do like a cup of each or half a cup of each depending on how much chocolate you want to put on them. Okay. But I'm doing this just so that I can get some bark for, for later. Plating and stuff. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to use my chocolate first. And this is nothing big fancy hairy dairy. If you want to... I hope it's not hairy chocolate. <laughs> If you, and it better not be dairy chocolate. <laughs> if you want to add coconut, you can add coconut to it. If you want to add some chopped nuts, you can do that. Or some seeds, whatever. Peanuts. Peanuts, that works too. Because you don't want the water on there. And then we're just going to... Watered down chocolate doesn't sound that great. <laughs> just going to pour this on. And this lasts a long time, as long as nobody gets into it. You nope. have pieces. Um, yeah, normally it put... doesn't last that long. <laughs> Unless you hide it. You have pieces to put on desserts, on puddings, on all kinds of stuff like that. And it just makes it fancy and you haven't done anything extra special. Yep. And then we're just gonna... Heat up the chocolate? Tap it flat. That's not, that's beating. Oh, beat it flat. Just so that we can don't have such thick. It's going to be thick as it is because I used a smaller pan. But that's no problem. So there, isn't that pretty? Yeah. There we go. Okay, so our cookies are done. We had them in the fridge until they're cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hardened. It's one of these days. And we have our chocolate. Easy enough. Just to break? Just to break it. Look at that. Doesn't that look cool? Yeah. yeah. Just break it. And then you got your pieces. 
So I hope you found the video helpful and you enjoy the cookies. And we'll see you next week. Bye!